Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'll be going over the difference between private, public, and protected methods in Java. And just quickly before the video starts, I just want to remind you to subscribe for more Java and programming videos. If I get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2021, I'll be doing a giveaway. So be sure to subscribe to enter into that. Anyway, let's get started. So as I said, we're going to be going over the difference between private, public, and protected in Java. So these are one of the biggest things that people kind of get confused about in Java. And so I'll be going over the difference between all of them and when you should use what. So there are technically four different types of modifiers, they're called. So the first is public, and public means that this particular method or variable can be accessed anywhere. So it can be accessed within the same class, or it can be accessed within the same package. This is the package right here. In this case, it's in the accessibility example package. And it can also be uh, accessed in subclasses, and also just world public is what they call it. So that's what public methods mean. Protected methods are one step kind of more secure, and protected methods are available in the class, package, and subclass, but they're not available to the world. If you don't have a modifier, so if you just said like static, void, and then went on with everything else, so if I just deleted this this word right here, if I just made it, uh, I, I didn't say anything there, this would be taken as a default, and the default is accessible in the package and the class, but not to the subclass and not in the world. Finally, the most secure thing is private, and private means it's only accessible within this class, but not accessible anywhere else. So it's not accessible within the package or the subclass or the world. And so I'm going to show you uh, just examples of how some of them kind of stop working because you move too far away, uh, either outside of the package or outside of the class. So the first thing I'm going to run is the test. This is test.java. And for the main method, I have all these three methods, the public, protected, and the private. If I go ahead and run this right now, you can see all three work. Now if I go to my second one, which is called new class, new class is in the same package right here, but it's not the same class. It's a different class with the same package. So for that reason, the public and protected will work, but I commented out the private because that will not work because it's private. So if I try to run this, you can see I get those two. If I uncomment this, I'm going to get a syntax error or some sort of error because it is not defined. So it's already saying there's an error. So this is because we've moved outside of the class. Now, if we move away from this one into uh, new class 2.java, new class 2 is in a different package, so it's not an accessibility example, it's actually in the default package. You can see it right here. And if we try to run this, I will get the public method to work. So you can see it says hi, this is the public. But if I try to say the protected or the private, it's not going to work because it's not in the same class, nor is it in the same package. So again, if I uncomment these two and I try to run it, it's going to have errors, it's not even going to let me run it. So that's why I commented these two things out. So that brings up the question of when to use what modifier. So first you need to really think about what you're using it for. So if you're using it for something that you want anybody to be able to access, you need it to be accessed by other classes and in other packages and stuff like that, then you definitely want to use public. But usually if there's like a helper method, something that you're calling only within that bigger public method, generally those helper methods will be private methods. So for example, if I go back to my main test program, I have this public method right here. Say I, I wanted to have another method within here that I ran. Say it was called uh, uh, test method. And so this test method would be a private because it's a helper method. It's not actually being accessed directly. It's being accessed through the public method. So you would want to make this when I create this. So I can create a method, test method, and this would want to be, we would want this to be private. Now protected is, I've never really used it, but it's definitely uh, useful. And it's definitely good to consider it because it's useful if you need to access something. You don't want it to be fully public, but you also you need it to be accessible outside of the class that you're working with. So that's why you want to use protected. So yeah, I hope this helped to clarify a little bit about the difference between public and private and protected in Java. So I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe for more Java and programming videos. Uh, again, I'll be doing a giveaway at 5,000 subscribers if I get to that by the end of the year. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.